Round eight of the World Rally Championship and the first time the WRC has rolled into Ypres, a place synonymous with rallying and finally playing host to the WRC elite. 20 stages in total, eight to run today and for Oytanak this is a big weekend. The Estonian needs a strong result after a string of non-point score finishes with reliability issues and he was hot out of the blocks, winning the opening stage 2.3 seconds quicker than local hero Thierry Neuville. The Belgian fans out in force for their man, but he was only two tenths quicker than Craig Breen, who lay in third, Hyundai setting the early pace. That pace continued into stage two and Breen found his rhythm. While Tanak struggled missing a junction and dropping time, the Irishman was flying and he took the rally lead. I have a car here that's working so much more for me. I feel like a little R5 with a whole lot more power, so uh, it was class. I love it. While the Hyundais were dominating the top three, Toyota were running together from fourth to seventh. Elvin Evans leading the Japanese manufacturer's charge, four tenths of a second down on Tanak, despite the Welshman not being totally confident with what the car was doing underneath him. Yeah, I didn't feel uh, so comfortable in there, to be honest. The grip was uh, a lot more mixed than the previous one. Um, so yeah, not, not ideal. Drama further back for M Sports' Adrian Formo, who had been showing encouraging times. Big hopes this weekend after a solid pre-event test, but the Frenchman, still very much new to that WRC seat, ran wide on this high-speed left-hander and dropped the car into the ditch, which resulted in this enormous barrel roll. Sadly, that marked the end of his rally. Things got worse for M Sport when Gus Greensmith went off the road on stage four, bringing his day to an end. Experience is key in Ypres, and for those without any, it was catching people out. A difficult morning loop for world champion Sebastian Auger. Not the perfect start for him. A puncture towards the end of stage three and struggling to find overall mechanical grip, he came back to midday service sixth overall, 7.8 seconds behind teammate Calais Rovenpera. But it was Thierry Neuville who reeled in Craig Breen in the sister Hyundai to take the rally lead on stage four. A clean morning saw him back in service, top of the timesheets, by a mere four tenths of a second. Very good loop for us. Um, everything is under control. We could go faster, but there's no need yet. And uh, yeah, I, I just want to keep it smooth and, uh, and clean. And, and enjoy as well because uh, it's good fun. The afternoon loop and a repeat of the morning's action and it was business as usual for Hyundai. Oik Tanak was lucky to get through the day though. He was suffering low boost pressure, but he made it through the afternoon to finish a comfortable third. Meanwhile, over in the Toyota camp, Kalirov and Pera was the man on the move, passing teammate Elvin Evans in stage seven to move up into fourth overall. The young Finn leading the Toyota trio going into tomorrow's action. With stage eight cancelled on safety grounds, at the front it was local hero Thierry Neuville who won all three stages this afternoon. He leads the rally from his teammate Craig Breen by 7.6 seconds. The Hyundai's untouchable through day one's action here in Ypres and the dream is well underway. With another eight stages to run tomorrow, it's the local legend Thierry Neuville who leads in Ypres.